I'm Beth Guckenberger, and this is the Reckless Faith Podcast. Welcome back to the Reckless Faith Podcast. I'm here with my friend and co-host, my colleague, Dr. Rob Hall. Co-host? You are. I got, I got promoted on day 37. <laughs> I think that's the first time you've... You've done a pretty I good job. I do not think of... Thank <laughs> you. I don't think of myself as a co-host. I'm just, I'm just here to have a good time and Thank talk you. about this stuff. So thanks for the promotion. That's You're awesome. welcome. Day 37, adding more water to the beans, saying yes to vision. And um, people who've read this or will read it, it's about the, the adding more water to the beans is kind of like having a, di- it's about a dinner party. Mm-hmm. And so uh, I wondered. I've had a lot of dinner parties. Yeah. What kind of wonders do you have? What is the worst we talk about good stuff all the time. Right? Yes. Like, oh, this was good. What is the worst dinner party you've ever been to? That's a great question. I think, <laughs> um, I, <laughs> oh, I think probably the worst food I've ever had at a dinner party. I was, um, my very first mission trip ever. I was a high school student and we went to Costa Rica and the mission organization that we were with had a rule. And the rule was that I think they were trying to prevent spoiled American kids from disrespecting house, sure, you yeah. know, like our host parents, but that every city we were in, every house that we were in, every thing they offered to us to eat, we had to eat all of it. No, no. I mean, this, this is like before people could be like gluten-free and egg-free and like, <laughs> yeah, the, this is, we don't care if you have a peanut allergy. No. Like we didn't even know what a peanut allergy We were was. literally told you have to eat everything on every plate you're ever given, period. Like this is what Jesus wants. And so um, <laughs> I, I can remember... Uh, it was like, we were there for over a month. This is like weeks into our experience. We were in a city in Costa Rica that had a McDonald's and we hadn't had what we considered American food in a long time. Yeah. And so I was, you know, five foot four, 110 pounds and had two giant sandwiches. I just, <laughs> at the end of one, I'm like, I'm not done. I want another one. That was awesome. So I was very, very full. And my, my friend and roommate, Jennifer was also very, very full. And she hadn't eaten two of them like I had, but we went back to our, our host family and we didn't speak Spanish really. So we were trying to tell them kind of what we had done that day and why we were in such good moods, but they didn't understand. And the lady had been making some kind of stew and, um, she's That's a bad sign right away. <laughs> some kind of stew. I mean, I didn't like- recognize the vegetables. <laughs> I didn't know what the protein was. Know what's in it. Just some kind she of was stew. St- it's lots of stirring going on. Anyway, she ladled it into some bowls for us. And as we were trying to tell her about our day, she put them in front of us. And I looked at Jennifer. I'm like, no, no way could I fit this in my body. And she's like, we don't have a choice. Like, this is what you have to do. You have to eat everything that they give us. Right. And so um, I'm just stirring it, kind of like trying to sample the broth or whatever. Jennifer's like obediently putting it down. And uh, all of a sudden, the lady like tries to tell us something and gets up from the kitchen and leaves. And I didn't really know where she was going. I now know she was doing something in our rooms. But I mean, all I knew is that she left and opportunity opened itself. <laughs> she had a, a window of opportunity for something, right? Yes, and there were dogs all around this oh, house, okay. all kinds of dogs all around the house. And I Well, this actually sounds like a smart idea. So I thought, you know what, I bet they're hungry. Right? So yeah. I quickly put my bowl on the ground and the dogs zoomed over to it and there were um two or three of them and they were they were eating and I've never had a pet in my whole life, but I watched these dogs. They kind of ate some of it. And then some of the food kind of fell out of their mouth and they would eat it again. And I was like, Oh, that is so gross. They're kind of eating like yeah. the, the backwash of each other. And you're probably thinking, Hey, hurry up. Yes. Cause... And they have like little things hanging like, like at the, <laughs> at the corners of their mouths. And I don't even know this what is that is. This not a good dinner party so no, far. No. And they're like, it's all fallen in the bowl. Anyway, the lady's like whistling and she's coming back down from the hall where our rooms were into the kitchen. And Jennifer kicks me out of the table and I grab my bowl and I quickly stick it on top of the table and I'm just stirring it. The dogs of course are at my feet, like bring it back down, you know, and the lady doesn't know what's happening and she sits down with us and never leaves again. So I had to eat the rest of the food that was in that bowl. All the leftover regurgitated, made (laughs) nasty lack of food that was in that bowl. It was literally disgusting. And (laughs) There's a verse. Yeah, there was my my friend had I'm sure she used it as a spiritual metaphor in her next, you know, <laughs> next opportunity to give testimony to what happens when you try to break the rules, but it was uh I mean pretty much every dinner party I've ever been oh. to since then has been in an upward trajectory. Oh, that is disgusting. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, but <laughs> transitioning to today's topic. Oh my gosh. It, I I think like the, vi- the vision part that I like about today is that 
May May doesn't have the kind of the, the woman I talk about on the day, she doesn't have the kind of vision that would put her at the 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 head of a table or ch- or the chairman of a of a serving board. She has the kind of obedience that's really about the next step, mm. doing the right thing mm-hmm. in the next step. I clearly did the wrong thing in that last step, and the consequences were grave. Yeah. She, in contrast, regularly does the right thing and probably has never eaten food regurgitated by dogs yes, before. Uh, yeah, <laughs> nor any of us, I hope. But I, I think that the story is a good one because the, the action step today is invite someone over for a meal. Mm-hmm. And adding more water to the beans, which will make sense to people when they if they've read uh, day thirty seven, share what you have for the benefit of someone else. The thing that I think keeps people like this is a this is kind of a vulnerable thing. People don't tend to invite people to their house because it's not clean enough, or it's mm-hmm. not something enough, or whatever, or big enough, or yeah, fancy enough, yeah. or uh, maybe maybe lots of people do, but some people don't do that. Mm-hmm. What I love about your story is like, hey, people. It could not be worse than that. <laughs> I mean, come on. How bad could it be? I mean, your guests are not going to be re- eating regurgitated dog food. I don't think that story will probably ever make it into a book, <laughs> but it's welcome to live here on this podcast. Yeah, so the action step today is to invite someone over. Share your home. Share what you have for the benefit of others. It is a hard thing to say yes to. Yeah. But if you've made it to day 37 and you've been saying yes, then say yes to this. Share yeah. something with someone else. Trust that it'll be a good thing. Absolutely. That story's going to live with me for a little while. <laughs> I'm sorry. So anyway, hey, if you have a copy of Reckless Faith, A 40-Day Journey to Saying Yes, you will not read that story in here. I know you will no, not. you will not. But if you have the book, we hope the podcast keeps you focused on having good, meaningful conversations with God and with other people. If you're here and haven't yet gotten a copy, someone's forwarded this to you, um, and you, you've stumbled onto it in your place where you get podcasts, you can find the book on Amazon or the book and other resource, resources can be found at backtoback.org slash 40 days. That's B-A-C-K, the number two, B-A-C-K dot org slash 40 days. Yes, I want to thank all the listeners for being on this journey towards a more reckless faith. And until next time. Mm-hmm.